On today's episode of Ask Dr. Bitcoin, we're going to talk about how to spend your Bitcoin. Sounds like an elementary topic, but there are a variety of ways to do it that even experienced Bitcoiners don't understand. Plus, did you know you can spend it with a credit card as well? We'll talk about all how to do that. Stay tuned. So we've already talked about how to spend your Bitcoin natively, but what do you do if you're somewhere that doesn't take Bitcoin and you want to spend your Bitcoin? We've got a solution for you. Actually, we've got a few. So there's a variety of credit card services out there for American citizens and several out there in Europe as well uh, that will allow you to hook a prepaid debit card or a uh, kind of a bank check card to your cryptocurrency wallet. Uh, in America, there's three main solutions for this. We're going to go over them here. In Europe, there's a variety of others that work a little bit differently than what we're going to describe, but they all function on the basic same principles. So uh, we're going to go over today the BitPay card, the Shift card, and a, a newer entrant into the market, something called the Cash.me card. They all have the ability to take cryptocurrency that you've stored on your phone and let you spend it at 7-Eleven, Walmart, literally anywhere that takes a Visa or a MasterCard. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Shift card. Shift card is uh, something that's created in partnership with Coinbase, which you may know as the most popular cryptocurrency wallet uh, in existence presently with around 13 or 14 million of the 30 million estimated Bitcoin users uh, on its service. Uh, the way it works is almost exactly like a check card would at your normal Bank of America or Comerica or wherever. When you have a checking account and you want to swipe and pull money out of your bank account, works exactly like that. Except instead of it pulling from a U.S. dollar balance, what it will pull from is whatever it is that you have in your Coinbase uh, account. It takes a look at whatever the spot price is, as you can see at this moment. That's not great. The spot price is on this screen. So it takes a look at whatever the spot price is at that moment, which at this moment is $6,879. And if you're trying to buy a $10 uh, item, for instance, it will take $10 equivalent of Bitcoin out of that balance at that spot price at the moment of uh, transaction. And you can monitor all of these uh, transactions as they occur by looking at an independent shift app. As you can see here, I've, I've spent uh, a few things uh, in the last 24 hours that all show up just like a, a, a normal ledger wallet would be for a, for a normal check card, except the balance that it's popping out of is my cryptocurrency balance at Coinbase. Uh, data points to know about this card versus some of the other ones, you are limited to $1,000 a day. That number at the top there is how much of that $1,000 that I've spent that thousand dollar a day spending limit. Uh, that's how much that nine hundred seventy nine dollars remaining for my daily spending limit today. Um, the withdrawal limit. If you go to an ATM, you can withdraw your your Bitcoin straight uh, from the card. It has a withdrawal limit of two hundred dollars per transaction, with a maximum of three transactions a day. Uh, as of this recording, policies of course are subject to change. BitPay. Also an interesting uh, solution here, has a slightly different uh, take on the same sort of functionality. So BitPay produces actually a quite a useful wallet. They're also known as one of the world's leading merchant services providers for cryptocurrency. But uh, their wallet is one of those where it allows you to control your private keys unlike Coinbase. So you have full control to import an existing wallet from Mycelium or Coinomi or elsewhere, or even keep them in sync with other, other wallets. And then once you have it uh, brought into it, you can go ahead and activate a BitPay Visa card. Um, and it pops up uh, just like a, a PayPal balance or like that Shift Pay balance does as well. Instead of debiting at the time of transaction though, this functions like a prepaid debit card. So you click on this little Add Funds button and you say, okay, I want to add $5 to my card's prepaid balance. It says which wallet you're going to pull it from. You select which wallet you're pulling it from. It tells you what the fees will be associated with this particular transaction. So there's a 42 cent minor fee and a 10% network cost. So this $5 is going to cost me about 52 cents to bring over into my prepaid debit card. Slide it over double confirmation, and this is essentially instantly ready now. Um, now I have 50, 
$43 available as opposed to the 47 I had earlier. So I've got about uh, $5 and some change uh, additional balance on my card now that I can spend anywhere. Um, the, it's a little bit more of a hassle. Uh, this is also important to know this is a last stop. You can't take your money from this prepaid debit card and put it back into cryptocurrency. Although if you want to do that, the cash.me card is available. Here's why I like this card. Uh, it's cool looking. It, I mean, it looks like the most expensive card in my wallet. You get to customize it, put a little bit of artwork on the front of it. Uh, and uh, you are able to store your crypto uh, in dollars or crypto and transfer it back and forth. Again, this one functions like a prepaid debit card uh, with additional Venmo-like uh, capabilities. So it's a part of the existing cash.me application. So if you have used that to send people money or, or before, this is the same card that's associated with that. Most people don't realize, uh, because they don't click around on the menus, that there has Bitcoin capabilities here. So you've got to click over here like I just did to the Bitcoin menu. And whatever amount of money is in your cash.me account at that point, you can then use it to buy Bitcoin with. Um, here's the only limitation with this. So it fun like I said, it functions exactly like BitPay. Uh, the, uh, you're able to buy crypto with it. Unfortunately, you're not able to receive native cryptocurrency payments. So you're only able to receive cash.me payments or pull money out of your own existing credit, uh, your debit account or checking account. Uh, but you are able to withdraw your money. So if you decide that you want to put this cash back into your bank account, of course, you can do that just like any normal payment service. Or you can go to this hidden menu over here uh, under the settings. You click over on Bitcoin, click on withdraw. Of course, I have nothing in this account to transfer, so it won't let me go into that menu. But that will allow you to go to a Bitcoin payment screen where you can put a, a Bitcoin uh, payment address and withdraw your Bitcoin to the wallet of your choice. Again, this is a one-way transaction. It will not allow you to transfer the Bitcoin back to your cash.me account. So important to know. So that is how do you spend your cryptocurrency natively. It will provide you extra utility, extra liquidity, and will not constrain you to the usage of Bitcoin ATMs. Enjoy. Well, there you have it, your blockchain and cryptocurrency prescription. As always, these are just my thoughts, and I encourage you to seek out a second opinion. Subscribe for more videos on blockchain and cryptocurrency, and if you enjoyed today's video, share it with a friend so they can see. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to see the receptionist on your way out.